In a recent poll, a good amount of the voters wanted to see an Arkham Games video. So I wanted to try and prove my theory that Batman is in fact a metahuman by referencing some of Batman's abilities and using Arkham Knight as a type of testing lab. Now I want to make it clear that while all the playable characters can move in a similar way and do similar actions, I believe it's more so for the game mechanics and not the character's traits. Before I begin, if you want to see more content like this, or more Arkham Games videos or whatever else, drop a comment and make sure to like and subscribe. The first is pain tolerance. The scene, Robert Pattinson's The Batman, where he's walking through a hallway while being fired at by multiple assault rifles, and he's taking a stroll basically while beating up bad guys. You can imitate this to some degree in the game before you die and have to restart, and you can watch his health bar go down, but his skills remain the same, just like in the movie, almost like nothing ever happened. Now body armor will absorb a majority of the kinetic energy propelled by the bullet, however it isn't a 100% of it, depending on the type of weapon, amount of force emitted, type of armor, wear and tear, and other factors. As such, it feels like, according to anecdotes, like being hit with a hammer. The bat suit no doubt has the top tier armor on it, but it'll still be super painful if you get shot so many times at such high speeds, causing a person to plausibly go into shock, have broken ribs, internal bleeding, etc. But he moves as if nothing occurred. The second is heightened awareness. Batman has shown some of this when he notices people walking into a room without looking at them. But I feel it's best highlighted when he fights. Batman seems to be fully aware of his opponent's positions and movements along with environmental factors like rain or snow, and even uses some essence of parkour and gymnastics in his fighting style to take them down more efficiently. The use of acrobatic tricks, albeit not as many as Nightwing, is quite a dangerous thing to do in a fight because it can expose you to attacks and a simple misstep can cause you to fall and hurt yourself or even die. This is why most MMA fighters do not use acrobatic tricks during their matches due to the risks. And even the few that do have padded flooring to protect themselves, where Batman fights on hard surfaces with multiple opponents and many of them have weapons on them. The third is an inhuman level of strength. Now it's nowhere near Superman's level, but it's still quite impressive. In certain versions, Batman can bench press a ridiculous amount, clean and press way above the current world record, and more. In the game, you can see some of his ridiculous strength, though maybe not super obvious. For one, the bat suit would possibly weigh around 60 to 70 pounds, with the reference of Robert Pattinson's costume from the movie weighing at 60 pounds, and it's not even real body armor. It has to be this heavy, as there's all this plating to be bullet resistant, all the gadgets, and the cape, which is also weighted. All these items would greatly increase his body mass. However, he seems to move and act with an extra 70 or so pounds like he's wearing a t-shirt and shorts. There are certain people that have done a similar thing with a vest, such as Samir Bechik, who walked with 200 pounds on him. The key word being walked, and according to one article, his body began to slowly shut down from the excess weight, feeling numbness and tingling, including in his heart. Whereas Batman, though at a much lower weight, is full on running, climbing, and doing the superhero landing, etc., and moving quite normally. And Batman isn't just wearing a vest, but there is also weight on his arms and legs, which according to a Harvard article is somewhat dangerous, comparing ankle and wrist weights, as it increases the chance of damage to tendons and ligaments in the elbows, shoulders, back, etc. And he has to swing all this heavy weight around with a grappling gun, 
which he has to hold with his hand, and there seems to be no weakness in his grip. The fourth is his intelligence, which may not be as impressive as his other metahuman abilities, but Batman is one of the smartest people in the DC Universe, with an expert level of knowledge on multiple different fields, including, but not limited to, technology, biology, forensics, computer science, etc. Some great examples of this is when in the game, Batman tries to figure out the Scarecrow's toxin, hacking Ace Chemicals to find the workers, scanning for evidence and using the pieces to create a path. All these fields are very different and take years to become great at, but Batman has seemingly done it in a very quick manner for a majority of them. Assuming he learned all this during his training period, which ranges from 5 years to 12 years or a little more, but because not all of it would be spent just studying, I would guess 5 to 6 years of education, which is still not enough to master all these different fields. And it's not just his knowledge of scientific fields and research and study, but also his tactical and strategic thinking during critical situations. There is a specific portion of the game, which I haven't reached in this save yet, but I was stuck trying to figure out the exact method and kept dying. The idea was to get past three tanks without the car. I couldn't figure it out for the life of me and I had to fucking look it up. And I thought that if I was in a situation like this in real life, or most people, it would probably die very quickly without figuring out how to fix this. The fifth is his will. While there are some good examples of how strong he is mentally, I'm gonna reference the game once again and how Batman keeps his sanity despite being infected by the Joker's blood. Where the others went full Joker, he was the only one that stayed in control despite constantly seeing his nemesis. Now Batman links this infection to an aggressive, mutated form of Crutzfeldt Jakob's disease most likely the variant version as it is contagious through the consumption of cows with mad cow disease and as such is called human mad cow disease. According to Arkham Wiki fandom, the fictional version is not fatal unlike its real world cousin, but it has similar symptoms such as psychiatric problems, behavioral changes, i.e. turning into the Joker. Currently, there is no cure to this disease and so all the people infected in real life would die. To use the power of your mind or something to cure a disease is literally impossible to do. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of this year.